All right, I just wanted to kind of show you in comparison to what in E2 looks like, the second generation E-Series. Now, this is what you're going to see when you open it. There is no overtop filter. Um, this is the controller box, the electronic control system. Um, this is still relatively new technology for the time it came out, so your brushless motor has a very, very large computer controller in it. And... Um, now brushless motors do not need as big of a box as this to be controlled. So um, this this is kind of the early technology, but it is still your brushless motor, um, supposedly maintenance free. Um, your motor is in here, uh, right down in here, and the box sits right on top and tells the uh, magnetism of your motor what it should be, and it's in reverse order of a brushless motor. Uh, if you don't know what that means, that is completely okay. It's not really necessary to understand the function of it. Um, they've um, put some foam around the entire motor because the Hurricane motor is loud. Uh, a lot of the earlier complaints were that is uh, that the first gen brush motor was very loud. And uh, I just turned mine on for the first time. And it is very loud. This one has a loud high pitch whine to it. And that's just the RPMs that the brushless motor spins at, the Hurricane branded motor. And every single E-Series Hurricane motor base brushless unit is going to have that whine. I hear it so many times uh, over and over. Um, is there something wrong with my rainbow? Is there something stuck in it? Um, no, it, it's just the way it is. And if you watch a lot of the videos, you start to really notice that. Um, other than that, the attachment point for taking it off, you know, you usually have your two screws on each side behind the, uh, the actual rainbow um, logo and plastic plate. There's usually two screws that you have to undo for the first gen. These are just done by clips. So you have a clip here, a clip here, and then you have on the very, very front, see the front suction here. Um, these have to be pushed in and then the whole thing pops off. So it's a lot easier even though um, the top part, the top case is pretty much exactly the same as the first gen. It even has the screw holes in it um, as you can see right here. Other than that, um, there's not a filter to clean on the top motor. Uh, personally, that concerns me as far as heat is concerned. There's less friction and less heat generated by a brushless motor. Uh, because there is less contact happening. However, the insulation and the lack of um, kind of ambient airflow does worry me a little bit, but it is maintenance free and this is a particularly clean machine, so I'm not going to worry about taking off the controller box and going too far into it to clean it. Other than that, the steps um, in my first gen video are going to be relatively the same. Um, the filter on this unit is also different. Let's see if I can show you that. So, sorry about how dark it is. Um, the filter is, this may be a replacement filter since there's no E-Series marking. This looks like my first gen filter, the box filter. Um, on the other side, however, um, when you pop this off, it's the circle type, not the, the box with vents. So this is a circle foam type filter. Um, let me see if I can get that for you. All right, so now I can kind of show you. That's the inside. Um, my box type filter for the first gen doesn't or won't match up with this at all. Uh, this is the inside of the unit. You have a circle type which matches up pretty much perfectly with the foam. Uh, and it is a very, very clean machine. I bought this one as a used trade-in from a rainbow dealer who lives around me. And as you can see the metal, there's almost no dirt in here whatsoever. Uh, very, very lightly used. Uh, I don't think it's ever really been gone through. The seals are in immaculate condition. Um, one of the things I do want to point out though is that the motor seal at the bottom, which is a little difficult to see here, is completely rubber. Um, it's rubber all the way around rather than the foam that they used in the first gen. It's 10 times better easily in my mind as an opinion. Um, it's just really, really tight fit, no gaps, and it, it hasn't weathered at all. Uh, I really like that improvement in design. The motor's easier to work on too. The nut's easier to get off. You could pull this, uh, replace bearings very easily. Um, I would 
consider pretty much exclusively looking at brushless. Uh, I don't mean to hate on the first gen users, but uh, the brushless upgrades, there's so many little tiny upgrades in here that I really would go this route. Uh, you're really going to enjoy this a lot more. Uh, it's, it's just it's just a slightly better machine, but it has those little upgrades that I'm very, very happy about. Um, just for instance, being able to change those bearings in such a way um, that it's that easy to access, that the nut doesn't rust out or it's not permanently seated on. So you don't have to swap the entire motor if you would ever need to. Uh, I can service my bearings. I can oil them. Um, it's, it's very, very nice for somebody who's mechanically inclined. Other than that, um, it does have a top foam case. It helps with noise, but to be honest, the, the high pitch whine kind of gets past all this foam. You don't hear the, the, the basic motor running, but yeah. Um, other than that, if I find anything else, I will try to list it. I will do an individual, uh, kind of expose on anything. And if I come across more rainbows, I, hopefully I can give you some more tips. Um, I got a couple other videos coming up, uh, some custom modifications to rainbows, um, some things I've done to just clean them and to get the most performance out of them, including custom brush heads and swapping with other units. Uh, I plan to do a tutorial on how to get a, the best power nozzle for the buck other than your rainbow one. Um, I will post those as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I uh, hope to have you uh, either join my channel, subscribe, or you know at least stop in and share with your friends that are into the same type of thing. Hopefully I can help you out. And if you have video suggestions, I'd love to hear them. I'll try to do my best to get you guys what you need.